Crowds inside Hong Kong's Ocean Park cheer the dolphin performance. But outside the popular theme park, others protest, asking, is this kind of performance humane? Park administrators believe it is. I believe that keeping uh, dolphins under human care is an important element of our uh, learning, our research to better understand the animals for helping in conservation, for rehabilitation of uh, stranded animals and releasing them back to the wild for understanding disease processes for these animals that they're affected uh, in the wild. And we also believe that they're a very strong ambassador for education, for allowing people to, to understand, to appreciate, and to have that emotional connection. Activists aren't convinced. A few kilometers from Hong Kong Island, Suzette Ackerman observes Chinese white dolphins in their natural habitat in the Pearl River Delta. She says keeping dolphins in captivity to perform for crowds amounts to animal cruelty. We want them to stop their shows. Um, it is not educational. It's cruel to force a dolphin to perform tricks for food. And that's the only reason they do it. When they perform a trick, they get fed a fish, a dead fish that is pumped with chemical medicine, antibiotics, that is not natural to any dolphin. And the space where they live in Ocean Park as well is like a bathtub, like a swimming pool. There's nothing natural about that and there's nothing educational. They don't jump through hoops in the wild and they don't hit balls with their nose in the wild. And they don't perform tricks so someone can feed them dead fish. But Ocean Park officials say their dolphins can choose whether to participate or not. We believe that our dolphins uh, enjoy and are keen to participate because it is free will for them whether they do or they do not. They, they are keen to participate in the shows. So uh, we believe that they are enjoying it. So otherwise they would not. Free will or not, here in a quiet area alongside one of the region's many small islands, the dolphins play and frolic. But on the other side of the boat, towards the open water, is one of the world's busiest waterways. Add to that one of the world's largest construction projects, the 42-kilometer-long Hong kong zhuhai macau Bridge, and Hong Kong's International Airport, one of the world's busiest, which could receive an additional runway. All of this infringing on the pink dolphin's natural habitat. We visited the same area two years ago with conservationist Samuel Hung. His NGO has been keeping tabs on the pink dolphin population in the region. In 2003, they counted 158 creatures. Ten years later, it dropped to 61. Some of them are dying uh, from all the construction activities and threats. So whenever we see a baby, we're really excited. As the region's infrastructure links with mainland China are streamlined, it raises the question, where is the safest place for dolphins? I, I think you have to distinguish between a wild dolphin and a, a, a free-ranging dolphin from a, a captive dolphins. I mean, the, the dolphins here, although you know, they are dealing with a lot of toughness uh, in, in the habitats, at least they're free. They are able to uh, try to find a way to adapt and try to find a ways to avoid all the danger. And uh, they are not being held captive and they still have the freedom to do whatever they want to do. But uh, you know, if you've been in Ocean Park, you, your life is not going to be much better off. Throughout Asia, especially China, the number of dolphinariums is growing. But elsewhere in the world, the numbers are dwindling. The dolphin smile is nature's greatest deception. It creates the illusion they're always happy. You realize after a while, they don't really belong in captivity. I'd never seen so many dolphins before. The brutal depiction of Japanese dolphin slaughter in the 2009 documentary, The Cove, brought worldwide attention to the cause. Anti-captivity campaigners want to continue the momentum inspired by the film. We have to, like in places like the US, Hong Kong, stop these shows so that we can set an example for places like China. This is how we're going to educate people, by leading by example.
China is the major importer of captive dolphins. Um, so the things uh, the, the, and the dolphins are not surviving well. That's why they, they keep dying and they need to keep importing dolphins. So they are the main driver of the captivity industry uh, globally. Uh, and uh, certainly we want to find a solution to that. Ocean Park bosses insist they are doing the right thing and the park is a successful example for dolphin welfare in China and elsewhere. Conservationists vow to keep fighting on. And as the debate continues, expansion into the Pearl River Delta carries on unabated, with more and more large pylons rising out of the increasingly polluted water, putting into question the future of at least one of its inhabitants. For SCMP.TV, I'm Silvio Carrillo.